somewhere in between those two extremes of hardcore metabolic science and belief of facts why a bunch of protocols that are grounded in quality peer reviewed science and in physiology that you can leverage to increase the rates of fat. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> this is Lumen, the first device for energy. Oh, that's funny. Lumen tells you what you're currently burning for energy carbs or body fat. So you can see what's going on with your metabolism in real time and what to do about it. Breathe in the morning to get a personalized nutrition plan for the day. One that's based on your personal goals and adaptable to your eating habits. Breathe before meals to see how the last one affected you and get recommendations to keep your body on track. Breathe to see if you have enough energy for your workout or if you should feel up. Lumen doesn't just tell you what to do. It gives you the why's behind it. Why your weight might be fluctuating. Why you feel low on energy. Why your body is storing carbs. Because the truth is, you have a different metabolism than me, than him, or her. Which is why Lumen is nutrition for you. this topic and not that I'm so obsessed with fat loss but rather the first project I ever worked on in science was thermogenesis and fat loss I joined the laboratory as an undergraduate and the guy I worked for loved to explore new compounds and how they impacted thermogenesis and so we looked at how things like MDMA ecstasy uh, how antipsychotics antidepressants various weight loss drugs that were on the market, how those impacted body fat loss and metabolism. And we just had so much fun doing it. So if you detect a smile on my face, that's, uh, that's what that's about. And I also learned a lot, and I also came to really appreciate that this tissue of our bodies, adipose tissue, is fat. We think of it as just this unfortunate thing. It's like we're told it's a poor energy source if we ever entered a famine, and that's all true, etc come to realize that these cells in our body, they are there as fuel for the furnace of our body, which is our metabolism. And there's a third player, and that's where it really gets interesting, that the nervous system, neurons, has the opportunity to turn up the intensity of that furnace. It has the opportunity to increase the amount of heat that we produce, and therefore the amount of energy that we burn. And I was also really intrigued by something, which is that Growing up, I think we all know people who can eat a ton and never seem to gain any body fat. Or people who seem to eat very little and seem to gain body fat very easily. And I was always intrigued by that. It turns out there are a number of different factors that relate to that. But the nervous system is the one that we can really control. Both the behaviors and what we eat, but also in terms of the genesis. There's one particular story I want to relate to you that does not suggest any protocol. In fact, I'm going to discourage you from following this protocol. Please do not try the compound that I'm about to describe. One of the favorite things that we like to do in that lab was to find rare compounds. And at the time, I was reading about thermogenesis, and I learned about a compound that was actually discovered in the armory factories of World War II. And it was discovered because women in particular who were working in these factories would take a, a brush and dip it in a compound uh, or paint rather and they would then paint the numbers with a pencil onto things like bombs and, and uh, various kinds and they were losing weight like crazy and it turns out that occasionally they'd lick the brush and then they would go back just to a sharper point on the brush and then they would uh, paint onto these uh, various bullets and and they started shedding all their body weight. And many of them lose, uh, excuse me, lost a lot of weight, significant portion of their weight, without changing anything else that they were doing, what they were eating, etc. Turned out that that compound is something called dinitrophenol, DNP. And over the years, dinitrophenol, DMP, has gained 
popularity in some niche cultures, mainly bodybuilders, athletes, even in the kind of bottling industry, it is an absolutely terrible compound for anyone to use because it's highly fatal if your body temperature goes too high. Hyperthermia will kill you. And indeed, many people have died using dinitrophenol as a weight loss drug or attempting to use it as a weight loss drug. But dinitrophenol really illustrates a principle, which is that your, your metabolism includes things like thyroid hormone and growth hormone, etc. But your body temperature and the way you utilize energy is controlled by your nervous system. And the way dinitrophenol works is by changing the neurons and the way that the neurons that connect to fat mm -hmm. change the way mm -hmm. fat burns up. So we are not going to suggest, I am not suggesting that you use dinitrophenol. However, there are other things that you can do that can change